Hello everybody, welcome to Excel video 288. I'm Nate Moore. I've been helping a group today that gets third party eligibility and benefits information. They get it in a spreadsheet and they say, boy, it would really help us if we could get that into SQL so we could run uh, some procedures and get our super bills to print with the eligibility and benefits on it. With a little bit of work, we can make that happen. When you're ready to do, to do more with your third party data, let's talk. Today what we're going to do is move referring physician out of the way and then what let's do is let's move patient back in. In theory, referring physician was going out of the way. There it goes. We've got end and down. Break this thing up. There we go. 14,771 rows of data if you don't count these couple of rows at the top. We've got tons of patient data here. And what I want to know is, which patients have I collected the most from during the year? What you can do is do a value filter like we did last time. But what we're going to do is instead of one of these value filters up here, we're going to do a special kind of value filter called top 10. They don't get confused by top 10 because it's not necessarily top and it's not necessarily 10. But let me show you how you can do it. What you can do is do top or bottom. You can do 10 or... 15 or 20 or whatever. I'm just going to leave it at 10 for now. Top 10. You can look at the items, the percent, or the sum. So if you wanted the 80-20 rule, you could do that. I want the top 10 items, but I could just as easily get the top 10% of all my collections data by patient by doing this. So if we do top 10 items by sum of amount, and if I had multiple uh, fields here in the values area, I'd have multiple options here. But where I just have one, that's fine. Almost 15,000 rows of data, you click OK, and there's my top 10, that fast. And what it says is, OK, Nate, these 10 patients are the 10 patients who you've collected the most from during this time period, and here they are. And I, you can see they're sorted A to Z by name, but I can just as easily come over here and sort them this way. And if I wanted to do instead of top 10, let's do instead of top 10 items, Let's do, oh, top 10%, let's say. So instead of just the 10 patients, I want the top 10%. And that is, should be about 140 or so, a little bit more to get to that number. A whole bunch more to get to that top 10% because they're so small. I mean, they're just tiny, pa tiny patient balances. But there it is, the top 10%. And the way I'm doing it is from a value filter. And what the value filter is doing is instead of filtering on equals greater than, less than of these numbers, we're just doing the top 10. And from top 10, what we can do, we can do top 10%. We can do top 10 items, whatever we want to do. We could e just as easily say, here's the bottom 10. There are the patients we're not collecting a whole lot from. And if it was referring physicians, or if it was rendering physicians, or if it was locations, that would be critical information to understand where am I underperforming in my practice and what do I do about it. That's how you work with the, the special value filter called top 10. Stay tuned next time. We've been through manual filters. We've been through label filters. We've been through value filters. We've been through top 10 filters. I want to show you a new feature in Excel 2010 that makes filtering easier. And we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.